already made the seed bed out here. After cultivation, we packed the field out with this uh, packer harrow right here. And we usually go over it a couple of times, a couple different directions, firm up the seed bed and smooth it out. And then we just adjusted the hitch for our new drill so that I can get another pass of smoothing and packing ahead of us planting. The moisture's down a bit this year, so we're planting it as deep as we can, and we're getting the seed down about two and a half inches, and then these packer wheels follow the furrow and seal it up. And our grain should be should be up. Uh, we're just starting on this field, but the grain I put in today, you should be able to row it in a week. But it all has to do with your seed bed, and people will say, what are you doing going around and around that field? Well. The smoother you can get it, the more even planting depth. There's a lot of little details, and even though it's a big seed, it doesn't mean you can just throw it in under a rough seed bed and expect uh, good results. And even germination, as I said, is, is quite critical. If we get good germination and it doesn't look like it needs any water, we're not going to give it water for a bit. Even without rain, I'll let it go at least a couple weeks before we water it. And then, uh, then as it develops and the roots develop, we'll give it a little more water each cycle. When it gets to its three or fourth leaf stage, we will we'll be able to tell what the plants look like more. We might take some bricks tests, see what the sugars are, because at that point we'd be ordering some uh, foliar feeds if we needed to feed it. Every little thing you can do, that you can afford to do, try to do at Bluebird Grain Farm.